Let's talk about a distributed ledger without a blockchain. If that doesn't tingle you, then IOTA's Tango could just provide the excitement, huh? A daddy joke? No? Okay, I had to try it. Hi right, guys, this is FD for Sage5.tv once more back with another video. And today, in continuation of our ISO 2022 series, we are going to look into IOTA Network. IOTA Network, one of the crypto projects that is claiming to be compliant to ISO 2022, a new financial protocol for electronic data interchange. So what is IOTA? IOTA Network is a distributed ledger that is not a blockchain. Instead, it uses its proprietary technology known as Tango, a system of nodes that confirm transactions. Because there is no blockchain, there are no miners. And because there are no miners, there are no fees. IOTA's goal is to become the de facto platform for executing transactions between Internet of Things devices or IoT devices. IOTA is a transaction settlement and data transfer layer for the Internet of Things, also known as IOTA. Its Tango technology is based on a data structure referred to as a directed acyclic graph or DAG, DAG. Every transaction on the IOTA network must validate two previous transactions through a small proof of work. Thus, the more transactions okay, the faster the IOTA network gets. This means, theoretically, the IOTA network gets faster as more transactions are processed. This is at odds with conventional blockchains, which struggle for speed as more transactions join the network. And here's a funny fact about IOTA network. It began Game Life is a hardware project whose goal was to design low-cost general purpose processors or microchips and it was then known as JIN, J-I-N-N. It was rebranded IOTA in 2015. I thought you should know that if you didn't, but I'm sure you do. So let's move on. Now let's look at some of IOTA's value proposition. IOTA offers online identity control to participants by providing frameworks like IOTA Streams and IOTA Identity to grant access to immutable data to specific parties and allows participants to verify data authentically without having to go through central intermediaries. IOTA is also efficient the more transactions join the network. IOTA network processes transactions in a secure manner and without users having to buy or hold cryptocurrencies. It is a lightweight form of distributed ledger and offers real-time microtransactions without fees. IOTA network is an open source which means the network and related frameworks can be used free of charge and without consent of anybody. IOTA is also highly flexible since it accommodates both private and public blockchains. Not all blockchains do that. But there you go. IOTA, one of their key features. It also allows offline transactions. Again, good or bad, you make your own decision. Let's just make some brief comparison between IOTA's approach. Both blockchains and DAGs claim that they are decentralized. While a blockchain has low scalability, IOTA's DAG is highly scalable. Blockchains are known for presenting unpredictable fee structures while there are no transaction fees on IOTA. IOTA's Tango facilitates high throughput compared to low throughput which characterizes traditional blockchains. IOTA Network is also one of the greenest distributed ledger networks out there compared to both proof of work and proof of stake blockchain. Now as part of our DYOR, we also need to dive into IOTA Network's use cases. IOTA's architecture is designed to be suitable for many different use cases, which is why the highest industry requirements were taken into account in the development of the IOTA protocol. So here are some of the use cases. It's used for executing transactions between Internet of Things or IOTA. IoT devices. It is used to deliver digital identities to all. It can be integrated into pay as you drive insurance products. It also can pave way for cutting edge smart cities. It can deliver seamless global trade solutions and it could be used to put authenticity of products. A good example on the value of IOTA claims to offer is that of PayPal. Here I'm talking of a gamble and assume that we all know what PayPal is. Anyway, PayPal is centralized and only transfers value. Meanwhile, Bitcoin transfers data and value but sets significant barriers in terms of high transaction cost, slow speed, and heavy energy consumption. IOTA, on the other hand, combines a secure, sustainable solution for the transfer of both value and data. So as part of our evaluation of the IOTA network, we are going to apply our usual 13 elements as part of our DIY or our risk evaluation in order to establish the risks involved with investing into IOTA and its MIOTA token. And part of that involves us diving briefly into the decentralized elements of IOTA, its security credentials? Can it scale? Can it interoperate? What about the project team? Are they dogs? That means are they publicly known and are they publicly available? Do they have a Twitter as well as a Discord? And then we'll also jump into the tokenomics. How are the tokens distributed and allocated? Starting with decentralization, as of 2020, IOTA's network used a central server known as a coordinator to ensure transaction security. This practice has diluted its claims of being a decentralized system since a coordinator has resulted in the introduction of a single point of 
failure. It has also slowed down the network speed because parallel processing does not occur in a coordinator-based system. However, the IOTA Foundation had a plan called CodeSide to remove the coordinator feature. Is this still the case? Please let us know in the comment section if you know any better. From our own research, we believe there is a new version of IOTA network that is going through testing, IOTA 2.0, the first version of a fully decentralized IOTA network. This one is being built as the brand new, completely decentralized IOTA network, the very best implementation of a fearless distributed ledger based on directed acyclic graph or DAG, able to host smart contract, DeFi platforms, and second layer applications. This latest version promises to do away with the controversial coordinator role that centralized the current version. When it comes to security, while IOTA isn't necessarily a blockchain, it still requires consensus to reach agreement. It does this using a relatively straightforward proof of work puzzle. IOTA secures data with the Tangle state of the art cryptography. All transactions are conducted using safe cryptographic encryptions. The whole system is distributed across many participants and validators, and therefore is no single point of failure or single point of attack. Mm, you still got that coordinator role. Anyway, as with most cryptocurrencies, IOTA's system is nascent and unproven. In the past, a phishing attack on its network resulted in the theft of Miota tokens worth 3.94 million. I believe the technical flaws have now been resolved. As far as scaling is concerned, IOTA Network's DAG technology allows it to go faster as more transactions join the network, which means the network won't suffer from increased traffic congestion. There are numerous real-world examples where IOTA Network's technology has been used in real-world applications and it delivered without any issues. Examples include car parking solutions, people movements control, supply chain traceability solutions, and many others. After all, IOTA's main objective is to become the de facto platform for executing transactions between Internet of Things or IoT devices. Having said all that, DAGs are known to have issues of their own when it comes to scalability. The problem with DAGs seems to emanate from the fact that they still rely on computer memory and processing power. The scalability of a system using hash graphs still depends on the capacity and speed of individual computers within its network. Is this a valid criticism? Let us know in the comment section. Once you're down there, guys, don't forget to click and subscribe to our channel if you are not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, appreciate your help and your support. Let's just spread the word to more people. Now, as far as interoperability is concerned, IOTA's DAG allows for data between various IoT devices to interoperate between different devices, regardless of what blockchains or network these devices are linked or connected to. Integrations for the IOTA network include supply chain digitization projects, cross-border customs procedures, smart cities, smart parking for vehicles, of course. Now, let's move on to the tokenomics for Miota and the IOTA network. Ticker symbol Miota, M-I-O-T-A, total supply, 2 billion seven hundred seventy nine million five hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and eighty three what a strange total supply circulating supply hundred percent initial token supply eighty three point four percent token allocation community was allocated forty percent early participants were allocated ten percent iota foundation twenty percent ecosystem development ten percent iota stakers twenty percent according to our own calculation having looked at the allocation insiders do hold or were allocated forty percent as you know guys our threshold is set at thirty percent minimum threshold is 25 percent anything above that they got to be something to persuade us to jump and invest into such a project if we really like the project doesn't matter it could be 70 percent allocated to insiders if the project gives us what we're looking for and it's got strong fundamentals why not we'll jump in look at solana is doing quite well by the way i'm not invested in solana i'm just highlighting a fact anyway social media presence 268,400 twitter followers as well as over 60,600 discord members and the project team consists of 100 40 employees or team members according to information from LinkedIn. So that is an overview of IOTA and its Miota token. And as part of our DYO, our risk evaluation, we are going to review each of the 13 elements that we apply as part of our DYO R2 kit. Once we've reviewed those elements, we then score them from 0 to 10 before we aggregate the total score. It is the aggregate score that we classify under a risk category. And the risks categories are as follows. The highest risk, we call that no-go category and a project will have scored 0 to 6 64 points out of 130. The next above that, we call that could go to zero category and the project will have scored 65 to 89 points out of 130. The third risk from the bottom, we call that potential category. And here a project will have scored 90 to 109 points out of 130. Before we go to the least risk category that we call go for it category, here a project will have scored 110 to 130 out of 130. So those are the risk categories. Now, a quick rundown of the 13 elements that form part of our DOR or our risk evaluation. We've got decentralization security, scaling, interoperability, 
project team, social media via Twitter, social media via Discord, age of the project, use cases, tokens issued at project launch, tokens in circulation at the point at which we are doing this video, maximum tokens available, as well as inside a token allocation. Now, here are the scores we've allocated to IOTA network. Decentralization, 5 points out of 10. Security, 5 points out of 10. Scaling, 7 and a half points out of 10. Interoperability, 10 points out of 10. Project team, 10 points out of 10. Social media via Twitter, 7 and a half points out of 10. Social media via Discord, 7 and a half points out of 10. Age of the project, 5 points out of 10. Use cases, 7 and a half points out of 10. Tokens issued at project launch, 7 and a half points out of 10. Tokens in circulation at the point at which we are doing this video, 2 and a half points out of 10. Maximum tokens available, 2 and a half points out of 10. Inside the token allocation, 2 and a half points out of 10. So, do you guys agree with the scores we've allocated to IOTA Network? Let us know in the comment section. So, the aggregate score for IOTA Network comes up to 80 points out of 130, which is a great score based on the scores we've seen being allocated to other projects we've looked at. We are talking of the likes of Ethereum, Cosmos, Avalanche, Cardano, and so forth. We've looked into quite a lot of the layer ones out there. So, those are the scores we've allocated to IOTA Network. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comment section. And that 80 points out of 130 puts IOTA within the could go to zero category. Again, like we always highlight, guys, any project within the crypto space could go to zero. So could IOTA. But at 80 out of 130, IOTA is doing really well and we think it's got great potential to achieve greater things. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comment section. Do you hold IOTA? Again, let us know in the comment section. I personally do not hold Miota tokens, but it's probably something to consider at some point. At this moment in time, I do not have any appetite to invest into IOTA. Do you hold IOTA? Let us know why you chose it and why you hold it. And is it for short term or for long term? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time, guys, this is FD for Safe5.tv with a review on IOTA Network as part of our ISO 2022 series. Until next time, bye for now.